most important thing how many of you all want to make god happy have you ever thought have you given a thought to that making god happy how you all will be happy if somebody gives you a new dress pass in your exams get a good life partner so when we get something that we like we all are so happy but you know what makes god happy uh one is uh praise and worship how many of you all clapped your hands today while praise and worship time did you all clap your hands clapping your hands making a big noise everything keeps god happy there are some pastors who say to me why this pastor abi is dancing if they are going to preach next no they will give me left and right and then only they'll start their sermon why oh, is dancing and all that but when their son is dancing no their own son they will smile and sit because you know for the parents whatever their children do no the parents will be very happy so the same way when god's children comes and worship god give their best you dance properly you don't dance properly you sing properly you don't sing properly uh, i that does not matter at all it matters how much you please god so very important to please god okay i told you all praise and worship pleases god your giving pleases god i don't know how many of you all give whole heartedly knowing how how important it is i don't know but it is very important the way you give the way you give cheerful giver god loves a cheerful giver while giving happily have you all taken your friends to a pani puri shop or somewhere have you taken your friends have you seen some of the friends you know what they'll do when the bill time will come no they'll all slowly escape every gang must be having one friend at least like that but there are some people who will come first i'll pay i'll pay i'll pay another person will come and say i'll pay i'll pay very few people are like that you can trust that people and go anywhere because you know that they will give cheerfully god loves a cheerful giver that makes him happy one more thing that makes him very happy is when one one soul accepts christ cheerful giver god loves a cheerful giver the uh, another very important thing that god loves is people if one soul is saved from sin the whole heaven rejoices it just imagine if pastor if he is happy here naturally people who are connected to me will be happy if angels are happy that means just imagine the king how happy he should be angels are jumping and dancing I mean just imagine how god should be happy just by one sinner being saved that means coming to service and just going away is not serving god serving god is making him happy amen so i don't know how you all want to make him happy i am trying my level best okay very good let's all close our eyes मिले अब तक जो साथी बेवफाही तो थे यहां से वफा क्या मैं पाऊ यहां पतझड़ की मौसम और उगरा चमन हसियारा यहां मैं बना लू मेरी आंखों में आंखें जुड़ा लो प्यार का एक गुलशन सजा लो मेरी आंखों में आंखें जुड़ा लो प्यार का एक गुलशन सजा लो कितना लंबा है रे जिंदगी का सफर बे मसीहा को साथी बना लो
gracious heavenly father oh lord we come into your presence we thank you for being with us oh lord i pray that you will bless us lead us and guide us according to your will we surrender ourselves into your care all this i ask through jesus precious and holy name amen amen let's all turn our bibles first samuel chapter 30 verse 6 first samuel is in the old testament Ah David was greatly disturbed. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. His God. Okay. So many days the whole whole month I have been talking on one topic. Anybody remembers the topic? Encouraging God. Encouraging God. We have an encouraging God. Today I'm going to talk to you all about the last week i was speaking about how you encourage others i was talking about the character of barnabas but today i'm going to highlight on david you can see there is one thing david always found strength in today my topic would go like this en- encourage yourself you can see in this whole world we don't have people who encourage us we have people who talk bad about us here there is a situation that david is going through what kind of situation is that The first thing that he goes through is they are going out for for a battle and they come back home when they are coming back home they see that Amalekites have come and plundered their houses that means Amalekites came and took all their family members and went away so the people who are standing with David are mocking David itself they are planning something what they are planning is to kill David they are planning to throw stones at David You know the worst worst ever pain that you can go through is when your own people talk bad about you. Just imagine. I know people who ta- talk bad about me who are living in other countries, other states, other other cities, other places, everything I know. But the thing that hurts me more is when the people who are with me talks bad about me. Have you all ever noticed that? Your own friend, your close friend talking bad about you and you heard that. David is standing here they are planning to stone him his heart is hurted very badly you know when you are all alone when nobody is there the first thing that i would like to say is when nobody is there you should understand god is there for you amen how do you encourage yourself how do you say sabash to yourself is you all should understand if nobody is there god is there for me amen look at your neighbor and say if nobody is there Look at your neighbor and say if nobody is there did you look at your neighbor look at their face and say if nobody is there don't worry god is there for you amen huh? hallelujah always how do you encourage yourself is when that when that somebody becomes nobody to you we all get distressed we all think that soul is life we all think we cannot go forward that time only you all should understand even if nobody is there there is my god with me how many of you all are understanding what i am saying amen there is god with us it seems a pastor he came from tamil nadu he started doing ministries over here after he was doing ministries over here he his wife um, gave birth to a baby that time he was outside he was uh, doing ministries where they gave him a call and said that your baby was born dead the baby was born dead he took the baby and he went to some of the people and he asked the organizations that he worked he asked whether he could bury the baby in their ground they said no take the baby to your native place we don't have a graveyard over here for you every graveyard they asked for address proof age proof other death to what address proof age proof he didn't know what to do he took the baby and he threw it in the garbage he threw it in the garbage and he just turned like this he saw a dog coming and pulling the baby's leg and going that side he cried and he said it seems oh god you called me to ministry you called me to serve you how how oh god my my life can become like this why god you have left me all away all alone like this he cried like that i'm telling you all there is no place that god is not with you only thing is we don't realize he is around us we don't realize david went for a battle came back home he's saying he is already worried that nobody are there his own family also is not there but the people who are supposed to walk with him who are supposed to encourage him who are supposed to stand with him everybody left him 
in your life what kind of place you are going to stand is in few days the people whoever you trust everybody will leave you but that time you need to remember this message which says when nobody is there god is there with me when nobody is there god is there with me you need to understand this when nobody is there god is there with you even when nobody is there god is there with you that is the one important thing you all need to put it in your mind encouraging yourself you know why people commit suicide is because nobody nobody goes and sits and encourages them the worst part is they forgot to encourage the soul that is within them they forgot to talk to the person that is within them have you ever talked to the person that is within you when two people fight you all should understand when a husband and wife are fighting they don't fight on both both of themselves they fight on his family she fights on i he fights on her family she fights on his family whenever they fight they say your family is not your you know why is they don't want to kill he doesn't want to kill her but he wants to kill the person inside her because he knows the person inside her likes their family satan's only aim is not to kill you directly his only aim is to kill the person inside you but whenever you are alone inside you need to understand even if anybody is not there with me i have a god who is with me you all need to understand there is a god when nobody is there he is there when no nothing is around me he is around me he strengthens me he strengthens me he strengthens me you need to understand this here david david is saying my own loved ones have you ever seen your parents shouting at you have you ever seen the husband or wife just mocking at you have you ever have you ever gone through the experience your very close friend talking bad about you have you ever gone through the experience somebody just pushing you away from their lives if you are going through some experiences like that i need to tell you all one thing even when nobody is there you need to understand when those people just push you away like that you need to hold on to one person and he not god he is always with me amen there is a god who is with me there is a god who is with me how do you encourage yourself when you are alone satan is ready to encourage you in many ways but when you are alone you need to encourage yourself in god amen you need to encourage your saying self saying god is with me amen everybody just say sabash i you tell your names and say sabash don't worry ayyo you tell don't worry tell don't worry you are not alone in this world there is the almighty god's hand on your life he is around you hallelujah hallelujah it seems a boy it's a very very old story that i used to say but i love this story it seems a teacher told all the students in the class to go and eat bananas and come but she gave them one condition saying that eat the banana where nobody is there everybody ate and came only one boy brought the banana back home and their teacher asked him why you didn't eat the boy said it seems i don't know if i go to the toilet i can feel somebody with me if i go to my dressing room i can feel somebody with me if i go to the parks i can see somebody with me if i go near the sea i can feel somebody is walking with me i don't know who is that person can you tell me who is that i don't feel lonely in this world i tell you all, if you are a child of god you will never feel lonely in your life because there is a king of kings and the lord of lords who is always following you who is always around you who is always there to encourage you how do you encourage yourself the bible does not say god encouraged david the bible says david encouraged himself in the lord god encouraging you is one part but you encouraging yourself in the lord is another part when everything are going bad do you go to the lord and say oh i know that i have a god who encourages me have you ever thought like that the first thing is where nobody is there god is there the second thing is where god is there everything is there where god is there everything is there there are three important things that are there where god is there one is the past you can see in the life of david when he goes and face goliath you can read that in first samuel chapter 17 verses 37 they ask him what is your experience he says he says this the past he's saying about the past what is the past is i have a god the god who saved me from the from the mouth of the lions is able to save me now also the past experience 
you know satan's only trap is when you are all alone when you are hurted by this world he wants you to go away from god you know when people are distressed in their life the first thing that they do they stop reading bible i don't know whether you all read the bible but uh, if you all are reading the bible the first thing that he will stop will, first thing is reading the bible second thing is prayer I, if you all are praying third thing is listening to god's messages cut fourth thing is coming to the church you know these people you know these people if they are angry on somebody the first thing that they come cut is coming to the house of god coming to the church oh you has the god did everything you all did everything right it's not oh god god did not do anything but we all try to cut everything that is connecting to god that means it was not the plan of man it was the plan of satan you all should understand that it was not the plan of god he always tries to take you away from god but david is not like that he's saying my past i remember even when nobody was there i was alone in the wilderness even when lions came and they were trying to harm me but from the mouths of lions god saved me amen our god can save you that time why he cannot save you now look at your neighbor and say he can save you look at your neighbor and say he can save you smile and say he can save you Amen. Where God is there, everything is there. What everything? Your past, your present, and your future. Amen. The Bible is saying David's past, God was there. His present, God was there. His future also, God was there. Everywhere he went, God was there. I love this story. It seems one man went and asked a bakery owner, "I need a job." So the bakery owner said it seems okay I'll give you a job he said uh, what job you know I know only painting he said it seems painting eh? like that what job I can give in bakery man only I have a job that you should wash dishes oh okay okay I'll do he said after a little while that man said it seems I don't have place to stay place to stay eh? we don't have place to stay there is only the storehouse where we keep all the all the uh, luggage everything over there you can go and stay there he went and stayed there it seems it seems when he was staying there he used to sleep there were a lot of rats running around him when he sleeps no rat will jump on him jump on him and go that side thank god it was only rats if at all it was a cockroach these ladies would have made a lot of noise when the rat was jumping jumping and going he was feeling irritated after a little while he opened his eyes and saw see means the rats were playing with each other that was it was so catching to his eyes again he saw them playing he was so happy after a little while you know what happened he started drawing those rats after a little while he started selling his drawings after a little while he was the one who started conducting mickey mouse today he is walt disney's owner from a bakery from the storehouse to where god's hand if it is on you your situations today you might be seeing something but everything the lord is able to turn it upside down he is able to turn it where god is there everything is there there were days where people used to think they put me to shame I was standing in the police station outside when I was standing outside the police station my family was standing with me the uh, telephone connection guy he just came walking walking to that place and he said sir you are standing over here i said yes i'm going through a small problem he said sir you don't talk to every anybody the place that you stand we can build a temple he's a hindu guy so he said like that i just smiled and i just said no it's okay but i was hurt in my heart so badly everybody thought of insulting me putting me down but you know i just stood firm my god is a god everybody thought my future is gone future is not in any man's hand for him to take my future away future is in my god's hand that's why today i'm standing in front of them itself as a pastor 
I'm telling you all, the Lord can lift you to any heights. Only thing, you need to encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't take diversions. Let's all close our eyes. Pullula idangal illalla Ennala meitpan Ennayu meitiduva Pasil nadakkum bodhu Dagathodu irukkum bodhu Vanathai unakai thurapare Pasiyai pokidu vare Dagathai thirthidu vare Kannin mani kannin mani Yenbe ennai aļaitha varu Kangal endrum kalanga Amal kathu kollu vare Kannin mani kannin mani Yenbe ennai aļaitha varu கண்கள் என்றும் கலங்காமல் காத்து கொள்ளுபவரே நீ அழாதே நீ அழாதே நீ அழாதே செல்வமே அழாதே அக்ரேஷ செமலி ஃபாதர் லார்ட் வி கமன் டு யோர் பிரசன்ஸ் வி தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் ஸ்பீக்கிங் டு அஸ் Lord, we surrender ourselves into your care. I pray that you will, you will be with each and every, every one of them who have heard today's message. Lord, I know that you are a God who encourages us. Help us also to encourage us by getting closer to you, O oh Lord. O oh God, you take complete control over us. We surrender ourselves into your care. All this I ask through Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord and God bless you.